Average Directional Index, ADX. In this video, you will learn how directional movement is used to construct the ADX indicator and how to interpret the ADX signals. As we have seen through this guide, the trend is your friend. But the million dollar question is, is the security trending or is it not? The average directional index minus directional indicator and plus directional indicator represent the directional movement system. The key feature of the directional movement system is that it first identifies whether the market is trending before providing signals for trading the trend. Created by Wells Wilder, this indicator categorizes securities by their trending characteristics. The formula for the average directional system is quite complicated and is based on directional movement. Directional movement is determined by comparing the difference between today's low or high and yesterday's low or high. In the case of an upwards move, the difference between current high and previous high is measured as plus directional movement. When the price moves downwards, the difference between current low and previous low is measured as minus directional movement. In the case that the daily range goes both above and below the previous day's range, only the direction with the greater movement is measured as directional movement. In this example, minus directional movement. And when the trading range is within the trading range of the previous day, there is no directional movement. The directional indicator, DI, is calculated by dividing the directional movement by the true range. But one day of directional movement does not make a trend. That is why Wilder recommended 14 periods to calculate the directional indicator. All of these calculations result in an indicator called the directional movement index, DX, that measures the difference between the two DIs. The sum reflects the total of the percentage of days that experienced directional movement. Wilder recommends smoothing out the action of the DX in order to make it indicative of price movements to both the high and low extremes. Smoothing is done by taking a 14-day average of DX, creating the Average Directional Movement Index, or ADX. The Average Directional Index can be used to determine if a security is trending or not. Wilder suggests that a strong trend is present when ADX is above 25. No trend is present when ADX is below 20. There appears to be a gray zone between 20 and 25, so traders could use a lower level than 25 to increase the sensitivity of the method. As the ADX does not show the trend direction, we use the plus DI and minus DI to determine trend direction. A bullish signal is given when a plus DI crosses above the minus DI. A bearish signal is given when the plus DI crosses below the minus DI. The ADX together with the plus DI and the minus DI create the average directional movement system and should be interpreted together. Signals from plus and minus DIs should only be considered when ADX is greater than 25. The bullish signal we got when plus DI crossed above minus DI should not be acted upon as ADX was below 25. The next bullish signal, however, is confirmed by ADX being above 25. The bearish signal when plus DI crossed below negative DI is a valid signal as ADX is above 25. The best trend-following signals are given when the ADX is at a low number and then moves above 25. If the ADX is above both DIs and isn't at extreme reading, this means that the trend has been in force for some time. The high reading in the ADX is a form of overbought or oversold, where new trades in the direction of the prevailing trend are usually not profitable. In other words, this is not a good point for entering new trades, because the DIs could recross in the direction of the prevailing trend. When using the directional movement system, trade only trend-following systems when ADX rating is above 25. And remember that the ADX level reflects the degree of directional movement, not the direction itself. Use the crossovers of the plus DI and minus DI as signals for entering and exiting the market. 
Note that when ADX is above both DIs and is in an extreme reading, this reflects a trend that is overbought or oversold and could act as a warning towards a correction. When the ADX is below both DIs, avoid trend-following systems because little directional movement is indicated. When the ADX is below the 20 to 25 area, avoid trend-following systems, since little or no directional movement is indicated, regardless of the ADX position relative to the DIs. In our next video, we will talk about the Ichimoku Kinko Hayo indicator. Thank you for watching.